And one that I'm actually curious, I haven't had a chance to look at Bracket. I want to see if LBO is here. I want to see that Shovel Knight up close and in person. I don't think LBO is here this weekend. Rest in peace to my dreams. I did not see his name when I was going through everything. G-Pick lied to me. We were literally, like, he was helping <laughs> me prep for this event. And I was like, all right, so what do I need to know? What do I need to learn for it? He's like, well, the one I can't help you with is Shovel Knight, and LBO is from that area, so you might be in trouble. And I was like, okie dokie. I love Shovel Knight. I love that he's in the game. He's very he difficult to play. very difficult, and if you're not aware, you're going to say a lot of wrong things. Yes. <laughs> and I, I, feel like, I feel like him and Eliana are the two just, like, highest skill ceilings in the game, where, like, you can do so much cool stuff, but you have to be so They're definitely good. the most esoteric characters. For sure. Like, it, is not, it is not streamlined in any sense that we're imagination. Yeah. You they're, have to be very super creative. They're variable. They're also going to have a lot of things where if, if you don't specialize in those characters, it's hard. Yeah. Things can go wrong in a hurry. <laughs> like suddenly you're having to throw an anchor from off stage going, please don't parry this. If you do this, I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> we got the multi shines going on. God, I feel like I say this every time, but Rivals is so cool. I love Rivals. It's like, so much fun. I, it's so smooth. I found respite. I found relief in Rivals at the end of Smash 4's lifespan. Okay. Uh, G-Pick brought me into the fold at Genesis <laughs> 5. Uh, we literally stayed up till 5 a.m. playing Rivals every day. Oh, God. And, uh, yeah. and since then, it's just been like, all right, if I'm at an event and there's Rivals going on, I'm doing my best to enter and I'm doing my best to commentate. Same. Because this game yeah. is awesome. Yep. Right. I would have 100% entered if I wasn't also the volunteer coordinator. <laughs> yeah, it's a struggle. It's a struggle. That was, that was me two weekends ago at CEO where it's like, all right, I got to do this, and I got to do this, and I got to do this. All right, I'm not entering. Yep. I got too much going on. If I do enter, I'm not going to be able to devote enough time to like feel happy with my gameplay. So I'll just make sure I focus on talking about the good yep. gameplay in front of us. I'm not 100% sure on what we're waiting for right now. Oh, they're just doing stage picks. OK. And of course, the best starter, Tower of Heaven. Let's rock. Yeah, it's Game Boy Battlefield. Oh, geez, already getting bubbles right in his face. Doggo yeah. going into it. And those setups can be so difficult to work with, too, because you're going to have to worry about Arcane below and the bubbles above as well. See the teleport there, trying to get back on stage, trying to get out of this pressure situation. Sees the perfect there. Oh, good. Okay, Arcane trying ah. to make it back. Ooh, that was definitely, I wonder if that was missed input or just, like, really thought he was going to go further with that. Just reading out of the wrong book. Yep. When you get a read, but it's you're you're reading a different book entirely. You're at the wrong library. It's like, sir, this is math boss. <laughs> Pretty even start there. Oh, but the down smash, not gonna be able to finish it. Let's see where he has the recovery go. Yep. And that's what makes so arcane so slippery is the fact that you can go high, you can go low. You've got the teleport with the puddle there, and yep. the down strong gonna finish out that first song. It's so interesting though too because when the game started, Ooh. when the game started. Like rivals to do, everyone was learning it. It felt like Arcane had a very limited recovery, and as the game has continued, it's been like, no, he's got so many mix-ups. The whale dog can fly oh. around. Because everyone was like, well, he has to use his very limited jump, or he can go use his puddle to get back. It's like, no, he's got options now. You can do the the orca, the orca nice, hop. You can do everything nice. else. I love this wow. continued pressure. Just flying it right at him, not giving him any room to breathe off stage. Neo Gaming doing an excellent job. So, oh my god! And once again with those reads, it's going to pay off eventually during this set. I don't know who it's going to pay <laughs> off for, but it's going to pay off for one of them. I, there will be a payoff. We're figuring it out, sir. I respect your dedication to the C stick. My kind of player. Oh, we get the shine combos. Ooh. I'm saying both of these guys are top players for their characters. Like oh, gaming of course, is, yeah. sure. Like, Doggo has just always been one of the good arcanes as of late, at least. And gaming has really shown himself lately. <gasps> I thought he was just going to go for it. I oh. thought he was going to hit that fair super deep. The fair, the down air one. I wasn't sure which. The man went a million miles out just to come back to stage. Everyone loves the offstage spikes. Sometimes you just got to go and slap them. Yeah. Especially that far out, too. You don't want to give him the option to tech back onto the wall. Yep. All right. Ooh, no! no! What are you doing? We just waited. I don't know what he was looking for. Did he just stand still and not down smash? He just stand still and then kept standing still. All right, he's on fire. 
This is not NBA Jam, though. This is a dangerous situation. Yep. But you are, I'd say, if you're new to Rivals, if you're on fire, you take way more knockback. But it did not matter. That up air is super strong. You get to be a part of someone's highlight reel as it zeroes <laughs> in as that fire is extinguished by Zetter's strong. So, oh, word. We don't have uh, we don't have all the stages. Wait. You go to tournament mode. Oh, you're right. What? Wait. I. I can't. I wonder if they just decided like, well, we weren't gonna go there anyways. Guys, turn See, on I, tournament I, mode. I love, but like, as, especially with Zetter too. Like, Spirit Tree's so good. But you just like lock down so much space. But we're going. I don't know what just side. happened there. Okay. They thought it was funny. We, I thought it was a little funny. I mean, it's funny, but like, ah, don't do go that. And fix it too. Yeah, seriously. That's how you end up on Reddit or a Twit longer. <laughs> this oh! guy didn't let me go to a tournament legal stage, and I'm mad. See, yeah. I love. Ooh, that. Oh, he's continuing it too. Now he's off stage, super no! deep. Oh, a little too deep. A little too deep. All wow. right, we get the homies. We get the homie stocks. See, it's not much of a homie stock though, because he comes down immediately and then hits him out of the taunt and just gets this combo going. But we see the break there. How much is he able to get hey, up? If I give away a stock, I'm willing to take him willing to start a combo on you. Oh! Still stuck in the bubble, and that, that'll do it. Damn. Oh my 45 god. 45 seconds. Blink and you miss it. That game was so fast. Ooh, we're thinking about a switch. Thinking about a swap. You see, the problem I've seen so far is like Doggo has constantly been on that initial step, on that first foot. All these combos you've seen, all this damage, you've really seen you've really seen gaming just try to have to fight from behind, scratch and claw his way from these deficits. Good stage for it here though. Really good movement, obviously, for Zetter. Okay, no slouch on this stage either though. Ooh. Ooh. I would say, is this going to be like the third or fourth time? He's got to start letting those rip, though. I mean, if you're getting out there for those combos, you have to be confident enough to finish them all. I mean, you, I think he has to choose when to do that. Because right. there's also the aspect of if he just stays on stage, maintains positioning, gets fire set up, like he's going to be able to convert off of the recovery bar. He's dying a lot when he's going deep. Bit of a lucky break there. We saw the fire just barely singe Hey Odago, and that really kept him safe for a little bit here. But as LB again, it's not fun. Ooh, I love that. Uses Fireball Ooh. to cover himself. That was honestly a good F smash. Doggo rolls out of the way just in time. Uh, Doggo up one stock, and he's taking the lead in game three here. And on the unfortunate life of Zetter. I got hit at zero, now I'm at 50. What happened? Zetter is the spacey archetype. He's going to be in your face. He's going to be able to, he's got some kind of projectile, but he's also going to get blown out by Ugh. combos. And that's done. Three stocks up. Doggo won by two stocks last time. Is he looking for a three stock? I don't know if he's going to be able to get it at 130. Oh, okay. he steps into it. If you just roll into something, it works. <laughs> the crazy thing is, is like just how good that DI was. I almost lived that. Right. Yep. All right. Doggo's combos are just on point right now. Yeah, I mean, Gaming's going to have to have the comeback of a lifetime to even make it into a game four at this point. Ooh, you wanted the dunk. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like it's smart to go for it. But the thing is, we've seen Heyo Doggo. Oh, yeah, that would have been so times, sick. Dude. He's probably better off going for that fair, though, like you mentioned in the previous Right, no, games. he's the eyeing all out a lot. I think fair's the option. Oh, but he clips him with the down tilt, and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Heyo Doggo, 3 0 and a handshake. That was. That was fast. Hey, guys, what's